Hey, I'm Cathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Farm Sim 19. This is Valley Old Farm. It's episode number 22. We are in for another very, very busy day uh, over the last few days. Get these repairs done. Over the last few days, we had the cereal harvest. Back in here. Out now. Oh no! There we go. There we go. There we go. Stuff out. Fix the header as well. Saw nothing. Alright, tune up done. I'm on. Stuck. I'm unstuck. We're moving. All right, well, anyway, we got the cereal harvest done, and that's all stored up in silos. And then we mowed the grass, bailed the grass, and then off camera, wrapped, the get, wrapped it, transported it, and unfortunately, it was late at night when we did that because that was all on the same day as the... Uh, cereal harvest and, and as a result it got pitch black and we got to the point where we could not work any longer and so we sped up till morning and because it was a 98 degree day just overnight just six hours from when we first mowed the grass the grass that we had done at that time had dried out to the point where it became hay. So we ended up with a number of hay bales. Those hay bales fortunately were still sellable. We still got money for it. It's less than you get for the silage. Uh, but we already sold that. So that was done yesterday, day six, midsummer. Now that we are on to day seven, late summer, well, this morning we finished transporting all those bales. We finished that job and got them over there. And like I said, the hay bales were sold last night. But we're done with that job. So the grass job's done other than selling the silage bales. Uh, we did also make one trip while finishing transporting that this morning of selling logs. We've already collected the income from, from that. So after the addition of the, the hay money and the log money and the subtraction of our daily loan interest, we now sit on 140000 So it comes good. It's definitely going the right direction. You can also see that now, just a day later, the next round of harvesting is ready to go. The canola all ready to go across the map and we've got a lot of canola to do. Checking the prices, still not quite right to sell yet. The price still has a good jump to make and so we're going to go ahead and store it in silos. We should be able to get all of it in there and we do have a lot more canola than we have of the individual cereals. Also, soybeans are ready to go, so we're going to be harvesting soybeans as soon as we're done with the canola. And unlike the canola, the soybeans, it's a price that's in decline. 
the high point for that was a few days ago. So rather than trying to hang on to it for an entire year, which we can't afford to do, pay that debt off. The soybean we will be sold immediately. So big, big day ahead of us. Big canola harvest, big soybean harvest, and at least from the soybeans, funding coming immediately. Outside on this one. Of course, your harvester, your header. Unlike a lot of the equipment, it does impact the yield. So, while we were still in good condition from the cereal harvest, went ahead and made the repairs to maximize the yield here, especially on the canola soybeans that pay out a bit better than other crops. You want to make sure you're not that For the canola, this is, it's a lot of fields of planted canola. Not quite as much as the combination of the three fields that are cereal fields, but way more than any of those three individually. Probably as much as two of the three. see through the tree. It's such a wide header, it's also hard to see the harvester without uh, looking at the paddles over here. Slow and steady through here. A lot of obstacles to avoid. Uh, Dad should be along shortly. He was coming with the second harvester, the New Holland. Uh, I'm sand. on field 36, oh. and it's almost done. Okay, well, he's here then. Starting with three fields, uh, all three of them. I just made my first round. So I should be able to get one more full trip. I'll be back with my trucks. So finances, we're sitting on 140,000. We've got about $460,000 worth of silage bales. Still fermenting. So we're gonna need a little while. So we've got about two and a half days to wait on those until they'll be ready to go. The only crop that's not yet fully grown is the cotton. Uh, the cotton should be ready any day now. It's on its final growth phase. The canola was the one that I was actually worried about. It came along. It's done, so obviously we're harvesting it now. So we're, we're really getting close to that end game. All right. One last harvest has today to do. I don't think we're going to need to do the third round of grass harvest. If for some reason we do finally do that, uh, we'll switch it up again, do something a little different. 
next time around we're, we're talking about using forage harvester and using a bunker and then with that you can get a large uh, bucket style front loader that can easily reach over to the top of that sidewall and scoop up that silage quickly. up over 80%. It's just actually filling up pretty quick, which means our yield is looking pretty nice here on this uh, canola. it on again. But you disconnected? Oh, the cover's on uh, both of the semis. Huh. It opened them both up. Bring one of those semis up. That's going to take a minute. I can bring the other one over. Yeah, I had the cover off on this when I pulled up. Alright, well, anyway, folks. We've got a, a long, long ways to go. We've got a long, long ways to go on this, so let's go ahead and utilize that time lapse.
All right, folks, well, we just reached the northeast corner of the map. We're starting to turn that corner and now head south. So that makes the canola halfway done. And what we just dumped in, two trips to the silo, at least currently, that's about $200,000 worth of canola. So we roughly, on estimate, have another 200000 worth go plus the price is not optimal that's why it's going to the silo not straight to the sell point and if we're it should be worth a little bit more later on thousand we're lucky five hundred thousand I shouldn't say it's gonna go that high but you know maybe another forty or fifty thousand dollars worth so close to half a million here We've got something like that, five or six hundred thousand dollars worth in the cereals, maybe more when those eventually get to that value that we'd like to see them at in order to sell. Plus we're gonna get those soybeans straight away, plus we got that nearly five hundred thousand worth of silage. We've got a pretty good chunk of money out there. But will it be enough? Well, we have 140,000 here currently. That's enough to make another dent. I'm gonna pull up this difficult scenario in between these trees. This way. There we go. Oh. Pipes in the way. Trees are in the way of my sight. All right, well, looks like we'll have to go around the other side here. That'll work. Anyway, there's a good chunk of money out there. Uh, I'd say we're close. Close it in on one and a half million out there. And then we have the soybeans and the cotton still to go. And that puts us somewhere over two million with what we already paid off. It's gonna be tight on whether we make up that three million dollar debt for the company or not, but we're certainly making progress towards it. We're getting towards that later in. While this is unloading, Let's go ahead and jump in for a moment and see just how far we've gotten. This was all canola along here. We're just getting started on this triple set of fields, four more there below it, and then all that soybean. Soybean pays pretty well. It's going to be one of the better ones for us. But on the bank, 2.3 million. We have enough now to pay back another 100,000. That still leaves us with 40000 and we're going to be bringing in more money today. So it's progress. It's progress. We're getting there. 2.2 left to go. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there, and bye for now.